Prior to World War II, the U.S. Army Air Corps did not accept African-American pilots at all, separate and very unequal. However, in 1940, President Roosevelt ordered the Army Air Corps to build a unit of African-American pilots in Alabama at the Tuskegee Institute. These pilots later became known as the 99th Fighter Squadron, or the Tuskegee Airmen. had to overcome discrimination in the South so that they could fight an enemy overseas. Many saw this as fighting two wars at once, one war for the acceptance and respect they longed for in their own country and the other against Nazism in Europe.
the Tuskegee Airmen speaks for itself. Over 15,000 combat sorties, 111 enemy planes destroyed in the air and another 150 on the ground, and 950 rail cars, trucks, and other motor vehicles destroyed. With the help of the Red Tail, the Allied forces claimed victory on September 2nd, 1945.